This is the latest version of Winamp, which I've just launched, and it's version 5.54. One of the key features in this release is the completely revamped Now Playing section. It provides a true multimedia experience to the user by bringing together artist information, videos, songs, bio, uh, and even streaming radio stations to create a comprehensive artist discovery and search experience. So let me show you the best way to navigate there. If you're in your local library listening to some of your favorite music, in this case, let's listen to uh, a Foo Fighters album. You can see that there are several ways to navigate to the Now Playing experience. At the top of the page, you'll see the title of the song, the artist, the album, or even this button here that says more information about the artist. If I click on any of those, it will take me to the Now Playing experience. Uh, the most intuitive way is probably at the bottom of the screen where you have a sneak peek into that artist experience. So there's a little bit of a bio here as well as you can see some videos. So let's go ahead and click on this, this, this link here, and it's going to take us to the Now Playing experience for uh, the artists that I have playing. Once the page loads, you'll see that there are several tabs across the top of the page. The first one's going to be a biography, the default experience, and second tab is the songs tab. There's also a place to view photos, a place to watch videos from within the Winamp player, as well as listening to streaming radio stations. So, this is actually my favorite page. This is the, the Songs tab, which is the default experience. And the reason this is my favorite is because it allows you to discover new music. And you can do that several ways. The first is actually listening to songs from the Foo Fighters collection. And if you play one of the songs and you actually end up liking the song, you can purchase it, either buying the track individually, the entire album. If a ringtone is available, you can buy that as well as purchasing an actual physical CD. Another way to discover new music from the same tab is looking at the similar artists, as well as a listing of bands that have influenced the Foo Fighters. So from here, I could click on any one of these artists, and it will take me to their now playing experience. So I could click on Alice in Chains, or Black Flag, or ACDC, and it's going to load a very similar page to this, except it's populated with information from that particular band. Before doing that, let me finish the tour of the Foo Fighters page. So by clicking on biography, it's going to give me the full biography description where I can actually click through um, and tab through the experience to learn you know, everything about the band's history and current lineup. I can also look at the discography, uh, the most recent albums, look at some fan sites. If I wanted to view uh, some band photos, I click on the photos tab and I can quickly navigate through the various photos that are available. I can also do the same thing with videos. When I click on the video tab, it's going to load uh, a video in this default player. Or I can even scroll down and look at a listing of related videos, um, any one of these videos here. Or I can just play what's in the default. And a nice feature here is if Winamp is already playing, it's asking you if you'd like to pause Winamp before starting the video. So I'm going to go ahead and pause Winamp and load this video and watch it right here from the Winamp player. Finally, there's the radio tab. And the radio tab gives you a listing of internet radio stations that are either playing the band or playing bands from the similar genre. So again, another way to listen to and discover new music from the same genre. So going back to the BIOS tab, Let's navigate and discover some, some, new, some new music uh, relating to the Foo Fighters. So here's a band called Black Flag, which I don't know that much about, so I want to learn a little bit more about them. Again, it's going to take me to their artist page, songs being the default tab. I can listen to any of the Black Flag songs uh, or listen to similar artists. So here's a band, Bad Brains, which I think is actually a great band. So I don't have a lot of their collection. I only have Black Dots. So here's an album called Black Dots, which I already have. So if I wanted to listen to uh, the song Quickness, I just go ahead and click on it, and it's going to stream right in the player. Again, I can look for more artists, um, Fugazi, for example, or HR Fear. So if I didn't want to look at any one of these bands or the bands that have, are attributed to influencing um, this particular artist, I can do an artist search. So let's say I wanted to learn a little bit more about the police. I go ahead and type in the search box, the police, and it's going to pull up a listing of search results. And I'm going to click on the appropriate one. Here's one for the band, the police. And here you have it. It's going to load the bio page. And I have the ability to, to 
read through the biography, listen to songs, and again, listen to similar artists or view photos and videos or listen to radio stations. Another thing that I did want to point out is that if at ever, at any point, you have forgotten where you are, and let's say you're, I'm, I'm still listening to the Bad Brains song, and I want to navigate back to the Bad Brains page, I can click on this currently playing link, and that's going to actually take me back to the artist who's currently playing. Or, again, I could navigate through the search, or at the bottom of the page, there are several buttons that would take me back, forward, home, stop, refresh, just like a regular web browser. Another feature that I wanted to share was if you've just launched the Winamp player and there's no music currently playing, essentially the, the nothing playing page, this is the default view that you'd have. You'd still have the search box, so you'd be able to search for an artist, or you can click on one of the popular featured artists below. So in this case, again, let's go ahead and search on uh, Fugazi was a band that I saw earlier, but I didn't click on their artist page, so I can click on the search box, and it's going to pull up the Fugazi page. So I think this is uh, the tour in a nutshell. I think you can see that it's really easy to use, and you have the ability to discover new music, listen to new music, and learn as much as you possibly could about your favorite uh, artist. Hope you've enjoyed the tour, and we're going to pull a couple more of these tutorials together if you like them, and we'll have them posted on the site. Thanks very much for your time. Talk to you soon.